Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we'll see how to send the delete request from the Postman. Okay. So in, in our previous video, we have seen get post put patch. So if you are directly coming to this video, please watch the previous videos to get the better understanding about all the HTTP methods. Okay. So now, uh, so the URL going to be the same. So what we'll do, I will copy this base URL and we are going to open the new tab in the workbench. So I'm just pasting that URL. So now we have to go and select the delete method. Okay. So in the delete method, uh, it is very simple to remove the resources from the database, okay, from the server. So we have to tell the specified source to remove from the database. So now this is our method, get method. So when we send this, uh, we are getting all the users, right? So when we delete this particular resource number, and when we send this, so we are getting multiple data users, right? So if I want to make the gets, I mean, delete method, so delete is simple, very straightforward to remove the resources from the our server. Okay. So now, um, so this is our base URL. Okay. So this is a tester as a path. So when we send this, so we are getting as a 404 not found because we have to tell specifically which resource we want to remove. Okay. So for example, in the get method, so we are getting 0, double one, 0, 1, 2, and ID as some other ID. And triple one. Okay, so the, these are the details. I mean, resources are available in our database. So let's go for a zero double one user. Okay, so when we put slash zero zero one, sorry, zero double one, and when we send this, so now we have to get the success response. Okay, response is in. So, first of all, the delete method, it might have a request body. Okay, uh, and, the, and the response body also same. Okay, so when it is come to delete method, it may have request body or it may not have the request body. Okay. So not all the time. So we cannot tell, I mean, a delete method will not have request body all the time. Or we cannot tell like a delete method always will not have the response body. Okay. So this, there is a might condition where you have to use the request body. Sometimes you will get the response body also. Okay. That is a logic of, I mean, that, that is a myth of the delete method. So now when we go to the status code, right? So in this use case, what we have seen earlier, so we are going for a supermarket. We are creating the account and we are modifying the account. So end of the day, if you want to remove that account, right? So we simply, we have to use the delete method. Okay, if you're told, like a terminate, right? If you want to close the account or if you want to terminate the account, this is a delete method. And so when it has come to status code, so there is a chance of you might get 200 okay, or you might get do not to accepted or do not for no content, okay? So these are the three applicable statuses for delete method. So for 200, we know which is okay. So the request is processed. And when it is come to 202, so the action is taken. Okay. It, it is a kind of like a sign of success. It is kind of like acknowledgement. Okay. And 204 also, the I mean, whatever the request that you have sent, it has taken the action, but they don't have any, any further information to display you. Okay. In the response tab. So these are the three applicable status you will get. So in our use case, we are getting as a 200, okay. Okay, so I have another example. This is also a delete method, which I have taken from the REQ, RES dot in website. So when I send this, here you can see I'm getting as a 204, no content, right? So in such a case also, if they, they don't have any response to display, then it will come as a 204, no content. Sometimes you will get 200 also. Sometimes you might get 202 also, which is accepted. Whatever the request that you have sent, it is being accepted by the server. That is called 202. Okay, so these are the possible three status code when you make the delete method. So for delete method is nothing to delete the particular resource from our server. Okay, that is what the delete method it is. Okay, so this use case, you can apply for any, any application that you use for today. Okay, so if you want to, if you take some, uh, if you want to open some account in the bank, so you will go and you will submit all the documents, your details. So they will be creating the account, which is a post method. Okay, after creating the account, so you can you can verify your account by using the net banking or login. I mean, by providing your account number or something like that. So if at all, if you want to make any changes like a mobile number updation, email update or address update, so that will consider as a put or patch, okay? So when you want to terminate the account, which means you want to close the bank account, 
So that will be considered as a delete. It will not be completely deleted because they need internal audit purpose. So that account will be terminated. Okay, are suspended. Okay, so that is what this this is a use case where whatever applications that you are working today, you can take and you can apply this. Okay, so we will be playing mostly with post, get, put, patch, delete. Okay, there are other HTTP method also, but our use case no most of the time like ninety percent or ninety five percent you will be end up with only these five requests. Five has to be request. Okay, so this is how we'll make the delete method. So delete request from the postman. You will get the two not two, two not four, or two hundred. These are the three status which is applicable for the delete method. Okay, so that's all about this video. Thank you, guys.